God is using Sam Manoha through his life and ministry to bring miraculous healing, liberation, and breakthrough in the lives of people around the world. Now stay tuned as Sam Manoha ministers to you and reveals to you the power of God that is able to change your life, bring you joy, peace, health, and supernatural abundance. Now get ready for God to touch you with his miracle working power. And here's your host, Sam Anoha. Praise the Lord. I am excited today. I believe that it's not by asking that you are listening to this broadcast. I believe that God Almighty is the one that I've strategically positioned you because he has a word for you today. A word that is not just willing but able to transform your life and to give you your glorious inheritance. And Father, we thank you for another opportunity to come before your presence to preach this glorious word. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for the doors. Father, you have open as your word goes forth i pray today that your people will have an encounter for the entrance of your word give it life father let them have an encounter in your word today and i pray as your word goes forth that you will stretch forth your hands and begin to work miracles signs and the wonders in the life of your people you will do today what men cannot do in jesus name we pray and believe amen and amen i'm so excited i want you to text somebody right now and tell them to tune in praise god i'm so excited tell your friends to tune in because something good is going to happen to you today god is gonna say things i'm telling you that is going to transform your life forever and we have been talking about god's covenant for kingdom prosperity uh, for the past uh, few weeks now, we've been talking, and the Spirit of God began to talk to me about the ministry of angels, the ministry of angels. In order for you to succeed as a Christian, you must understand the ministry of angels. You know, there are things you cannot do. You see, a lot of Christians, you know, uh, the reason we get so tired because sometimes we are trying to do the work that the angels are supposed to do throughout the bible every person that i've ever done anything good anything big any kind of exploit had an angelic encounter you can go from abraham praise god and you know that he had an angelic encounter you can go to uh you know praise god or to uh, you know jacob you can go to daniel you can go to moses you can go to uh, ezekiel you can go to even uh, joseph the earthly father of jesus you find out that there was angelic presence i mean they had this um revelation of the angels you know they have a there was angelic activity praise god in order for you to succeed as a believer you must understand the reality of angels you see the reality of angels they are so real angels are you see the you know uh, uh, of course they are referred as heavenly host glory to god you know they are real personalities they are not just idea or some kind of mythical figures angels are spiritual personalities with a physical impact i'm telling you i mean it's so powerful listen you need to call somebody right now let them know that some something powerful is about to be said because god is showing me listen i'm getting ready to reveal to you today about the angel of prosperity i'm gonna reveal to you the angel all every woman that is believing god for their spouse you need to text them right now because i'm good there are things the spirit of god gave me to give to you today if you know a friend wherever they are they are believing god for their life partner you need to call them right now you know thank god for facebook thank god for twitter thank god for instagram thank god for all this marriage connect listen i'm gonna show you something that is gonna blow your mind 
text your friends now to tune in. This is going to be glorious. At least 10 people call them now to tune in. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be glorious today. We're talking about the ministry of angels. Angels are so real. Listen to me. Because of time, I'm not going to go ahead and tell you. But I want to show you what they can do in your life. In the book of Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14, the Bible says, Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for the, for the heads of salvation? The moment you become born again, angels begin to minister for you. They minister to you. Listen, you need this. You, you got to get this. You have to understand the ministry of angels. As we go through the word of God, you see the activities in the life of Abraham in Genesis 18. You saw Abraham actually had a dinner, praise God, with angels when they appeared to him. Glory be to God as travelers. You see, they can be so just like in the life of Joshua. Glory to God in Genesis, uh, in Joshua 5. 13 and 15, and they can even bake bread. They cook food. Glory to God in First King 19. You know, when um, this guy was running from Jezebel, an angel came there and actually, you know, you know, cook a meal for uh, for uh, for uh, for Elijah. Praise God! He ate angel food. So we can go through. And of course, today I don't want to talk about their ranks. You know, we have the archangel, we have the seraphim, the cherubim, the living creatures, and the common angels. You know, praise God! But we are focusing on the heavenly host today. We are focusing on the angel, what they mean and what they can do. Praise God! Now you gotta understand there's something is so special about angels they are super intelligent they are super intelligent in second samuel 14 20 the bible say and my lord is wise according to the wisdom of an angel of god to know all things that are in the earth they are super wise i'm telling you they know where everything is listen they listen they know where things are if you are believing god for your spouse they know where your spouse are if you're looking for a home they know how to get you there in the book of exodus chapter 23 20 god said behold i send my angel ahead of you to bring you to the place that i have prepared for you they know where god wants you to be where god are prepared praise god i'm so excited listen i'm gonna come back and begin to talk to you about the angel of prosperity and that angel that will help you get your spouse but before i do i have my beautiful wife here with me in the studio precious diamond she's gonna come and talk to you about our upcoming event coming up next week friday next week is gonna be glorious hello honey go ahead and take it from there everyone is precious diamond and i am so excited to be here today how is everybody doing listen it's come down to festival of miracles 2021 it's actually next friday and we are so excited september the 3rd you don't want to miss it for any reason it's right here in Houston, Texas at the Grace International Church, 15401 Belle Boulevard in Houston, Texas. 77083 is the venue of this conference. Listen, the conference starts at 7 p.m., but those will be open at 6 p.m. Be our guest. Come and see Jesus at work in this ministry. I'm telling you, miracles are taking place. Great things are happening. And in this conference, expect the supernatural. Amen. And I really hope you'll be there. This conference is absolutely free, so don't let Satan steal from you anymore. It's time to say enough is enough. Come out and be part of what God is doing here. Amen. Praise God. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. This is going to be a glorious event. It's Festival of Miracle 2021. It's actually next week, Friday. Praise God. It's a night of worship, word, and wonders. Of course, the address is 15401 Boulevard in Houston, Texas. At Grace International Church Auditorium, we are renting, we're using the facility for this event september the third next week friday don't miss it 7 p.m heaven will kiss the 
planet earth i'm telling you it's gonna be glorious doors will be open at six o'clock to register call 281-417-4417 that's 281-417-4417 let me know how many people are coming listen to me it's gonna be glorious come with your faith activated i mean we have seen miracles you know in this meeting we have seen supernatural healing take place there was the man diagnosed with prostate cancer was sent to hospice to go and die under this kind of anointing i'm telling you today just to just to call the story short he is completely and perfectly healed we have seen financial breakthrough meetings like this people having more money than project we have seen marital breakthrough listen to me you don't want to miss this come with your faith activated because it's gonna be a glorious meeting praise god and we continue to talk to you about the ministry of angels and one of the thing angel does of course you know they execute judgment Ex angel execute judgment you know when uh sodom and gomorrah when they are seen got to heaven got to the roof i mean god sent two angels go there and execute the judgment but i don't want to talk too much about execution of judgment today but i want to talk to you what the angel would do in your life right Right now you see they make the word of god effective the angels make the word of god effective Effective. Every time God speak, they carry the word and go perform it. That's why the Bible says in Exodus 23, 20, it says, Behold, I send my angel ahead of you to bring you to the place that I have prepared for you. My God, God has prepared a place for you. My goodness, I feel the anointed. And as you begin to, you know, understand and build your faith about this angelic realm and know that they encamp around you and they are to serve you and you know what God have for you they bring you to your final destination but they you know they 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 they, they, they effect the word of God in Revelation 19 in the book of Revelation chapter 19 verse 13 verse 13 the Bible says you know it said he was clothed with a vesture deep in blood and his name is called the word of God and the armies which were in heaven for him upon white horses clothed in fine linen with uh, uh, white and clean you see the armies in heaven followed the word anywhere the word of god goes the armies followed the word of god hallelujah whenever you hear you know when god says say to the righteous it shall be well with him god's armies follow that word you know they they they, they pleasure the heart of god my god i feel the anointing of the holy ghost the bible says in psalm 103 verse 20 and 21 he said bless the lord you his angel you know that excel in strength that do his commandment hearkening unto the voice of his word bless you the lord O ye his host ye ministers of his that do his pleasure he you know they do god's pleasure they you know they, they do the word of the living god one man that has so much faith in god where the angels are concerned is abraham abraham the father of faith the Bible says, look unto Abraham, your father. I called him and I blessed him. Look unto Abraham. God wants us to follow the steps of Abraham. Abraham, the book of Jeremiah chapter 6, 16. It says, stand at the crossroad and look. Ask of the ancient path where your forefathers have walked. Walk in it and it shall be well with you. You see, we are to, in order for you to walk in the blessing of Abraham, you got to begin to know what Abraham knew. Abraham has so much faith in God about sending his angels you know in the book of genesis chapter 24 verse number seven when it was time for abraham to get a wife for his son isaac you know the story very well he sent his servant to go look for a wife for his son isaac and he said look you don't have to marry all this unbeliever you go into the family of faith and you get me a wife for my son isaac and the guy said what if the lady don't want to come he said no 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 not this time the God whose I am the God I serve the God I worship he swear to me he will send his angel to 
inspire your way and you will get a wife for my son Isaac I don't know who I'm talking to my God I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost there are ladies you are listening to me God is sending his angel to fetch your husband God is sending his angel to fetch your wife I don't know but I was, I was coming on this studio today the Spirit of God spoke to me he said there will be women listening on this day on this day that I'm going to release my word concerning their spouses because in the book of uh, thank you my father I give you praise for the anointed uh, in Romans 9 28 the Bible say that he sent his word he said I will send my sentence on earth with the speed and the finality God is going to do it suddenly my God uh, he is not a respecter of any person he did it for Abraham he's gonna do it for you Abraham has so much faith in God he said the God who I serve the God who I worship the God I swear to me he will send this angel to prosper your way and he will help get a wife for my son Isaac and guess what happened the Bible says that when the servant actually got to the place and he began to pray he said God grant me good speed today that the lady that I will talk that I will ask to give me some water to drink that she will agree to give me the water and also feed my camel. Let that lady be the wife of my master, uh, Isaac. The word of God declares before he finished, the God of suddenly showed up. Before he finished, the Bible says Rebecca showed up. Do you know what happened? Because angel have already gone ahead of Rebecca and just told her, hey, Rebecca, I think you should go fetch water today. I don't know who you are. That is supernatural connection. Your destiny helper is going to locate you today. My God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Somebody, this lady, you are listening to me. God is going to make you go to that grocery store and your husband will be there waiting for you god is gonna make you go to that service and your husband is gonna be there waiting for you god is gonna make you go to the place that your man will be waiting for you god is gonna move you god is gonna send his angel to move your leg the bible said the steps of a righteous man are ordered by god god is getting ready to order your steps around i don't know who i'm talking to but i hear the spirit of god say to tell you your years of delay and denial is over your season is now my god i feel the anointing your age may have disappointed you but your season will not fail you god said to tell you this is your season to be married this is your age this is your time it's now faith is now my god i feel the anointing of the holy ghost there are about several of you my god if you feel this word is for you god is not Number is 281 417 4417. That's 281 417 4417. Faith is now. Now, faith is the substance of things. So, for the evidence of things, not saying, I want you to pick that phone call, that number. If that's you, my God, I feel such an anointing that an angel is going now. Thank God for Facebook. Thank God for YouTube. Thank God for all the whole places where they try to hook your baby we're gonna do it the bible where some of you get men from facebook and then get kicked out of from youtube that days are over it is time to go back to the bible days i see god almighty connecting you to your spouse supernaturally the angel is gonna get involved this time around and when god open a door no man will close that door your hour has come i hear god say god is in the midst and it's gonna cause every war to cease in your life it is time for you to walk in liberty and as I was praying, the Spirit of God spoke to me about prosperity angel. Prosperity angel is moving right now. Oh God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 24 verse 40, it said the God whose I serve, who am I, that that God will send his angel to prosper your way. See, Abraham understood this because you know, when Abraham, God told him to take his son Isaac and go to the place that I will show you, he said go and sacrifice him there. Guess 
guess what happened? Abraham went there when he was about to sacrifice his son. The Bible said an angel of God called from him. He said, Abraham, Abraham, don't touch the child now that I know you fear me. Oh my God. The Bible said and Abraham lifted up his eye and saw a ram caught in a ticket. Guess what happened? He used that ram instead of his son Isaac. And then the Bible say, and God called the second time. And the angel of God called the second time. And he said to Abraham, he said, I swear by myself, in blessing I will bless you. In multiply, I will multiply. I swear by myself, in blessing I will bless you. And in multiply, I will multiply you. He believed that word. And when it was time for him to look for a wife for his son Isaac, he said, the God I serve, the God I obeyed, I obeyed him when it was so rough to obey God. I obeyed God, the God that I obeyed, the God that called me from my father's land, the God that swear to me, he will send this angel to prosper your way. Somebody who are listening to me, angel of prosperity is moving now to plant ideas in you. The Bible says in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 31, you know the angel of prosperity visited Jacob. And in the book of Genesis chapter 30 verse uh, uh, thank you Jesus, chapter uh, 30 43, the man became exceedingly rich. You know why? Because an angel appeared to him in the dream. That same angel, oh my God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost appear to Jacob. And the Bible says the wealth of Lebanon was supernaturally transferred to Jacob because an angel appeared to him in dream and showed him what to do and spoke to him in the book of Genesis the word of God declares and Pharaoh said unto Joseph in as much as God has showed thee all this there is none as discreet and as wise as thou art you shall be in charge of all the land of Egypt listen to me I don't know who I'm talking to but God said there are people today that will be listening to this broadcast. I am going to send my angel to plant supernatural ideas into them. I'm going to release my angel to plant ideas for wealth transfer. Somebody you are listening to me. God is about to plant ideas. I'm talking about God is going to give you supernatural wisdom. I keep hearing supernatural intelligence because in the book of Job chapter 32 verse 8, God God talk about the spirit of intelligence, the wisdom of God, uh, the inspiration of the Almighty. God has gone and spoke are you my God I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost I feel the anointing I feel like praying for folks to now God I feel this all over me I want to pray with you today God I feel the anointing if you are listening to me Lord that God listen for you to get this whole message go to my website right now at www.summing.org and uh, watch us on YouTube we're on YouTube watch us on Roku if you're on Roku we have our own television on Roku at changing lives TV changing life TV glory be to God and follow me my goodness listen I have limited time here but God has given me a word somebody you are listening to me today will be the poorest you will ever be the rest of your life I want you to invite 10 people right now to tune into what I'm doing this coming next week Saturday I'm gonna continue don't miss next week Saturday is gonna be glorious and all of you don't miss our broadcast um thank you Jesus the event coming up next week don't miss it for any Anything. If you are listening to me now and you have not given your life to Jesus, in order for you to enjoy angelic assistance, you must be born again. I want you to pray right now. Say, wonderful Jesus, I know you love me so much. And I know that you died for me. I repent of my sin. I believe you died and on the third day you resurrected from the dead. And you are now seated at the right hand of the Father. I ask you today to come into my heart and I will make you my Lord and Savior. If you pray that prayer, I believe believe you are born again i believe you are born again i want you to call this number now that's 281-417-4417 that's 281-417-4417 i love you jesus is lord thank you for listening to changing lives broadcast with pastor sam anoha and if you've been blessed by this broadcast and you'd love to partner with sam and precious diamond anoha to help spread the gospel Call 
5466 or write to Samuel Onoha Ministries, P.O. Box 58747, Webster, Texas 77598. Visit the website at somin.org. That's S O M I N, somin.org, to submit your urgent prayer request. Jesus is Lord. Get ready, Houston, Texas, for Festival of Miracles 2021, a night of worship, word, signs, and wonders on Friday, September 3rd, 7 p.m. at Grace International Church Auditorium, 15401 Bel Air Boulevard, Houston, Texas, 77083. You don't want to miss the dynamic ministry of Pastor Sam Anoha and the award-winning gospel artist and worship leaders. To register for this conference, please call 281 417-4417, 281-417-4417, you don't want to miss this exciting ministry, so come and see Jesus at work, and the grace of God that is already made available to you in this conference. If you're believing God for household salvation, divine healing, deliverance, and God's success formula, then this is a meeting you truly need to participate in. Parking and registration is absolutely free. Again, for more information and registration, call 281-417-4417, or online, S somin.org that's s o m i n.org Get ready, Houston, Texas, for Festival of Miracles 2021, a night of worship, word, signs, and wonders on Friday, September 3rd, 7 p.m. at Grace International Church Auditorium, 15401 Bel Air Boulevard, Houston, Texas, 77083. You don't want to miss the dynamic ministry of Pastor Sam Manoha and the award-winning gospel artist and worship leaders. To register for this conference, please call 281 481-4417, 281-417-4417, you don't want to miss this exciting ministry, so come and see Jesus at work, and the grace of God that is already made available to you in this conference. If you're believing God for household salvation, divine healing, deliverance, and God's success formula, then this is a meeting you truly need to participate in. Parking and registration is absolutely free. Again, for more information and registration, call 281-417-4417, or online, S omin.org. That's S-O-M-I-N dot O-R-G.